Hello and welcome to Not Your Grandma's Opera. I'm Fallon Nunes and today we're going to do Opera Composers Episode 2. This video is going to feature Puccini. We're going to talk all about his opera career. So, Giacomo Antonio Domenico Michel Secondo Maria Puccini. That's his full name was born in Lucca, Italy in 1858. He was born the sixth of nine children. The Puccini family was actually a local kind of music dynasty. His great, great grandfather, great grandfather, grandfather and father all succeeded one another as the Maestro di Capella of the Cathedrale di San Martino in Lucca. And all of them composed their own music, including operas. Uh, Puccini was continue with this lineage of being the Maestro di Capella. However, his father died when he was six and he was deemed far too young to continue that. Then Puccini actually ended up going to study at the Milan Conservatory where he was actually roommates with other opera composer Mascani. On May 31st, 1884, Puccini's first opera, Le Vili, was premiered at the Teatro dal Verme. In 1885, it was performed at La Scala. Giulio Ricordi, who is the very famous music publisher, we still actually use a lot of his scores. I actually kind of prefer them. They're one of my favorite ones. Started to commission operas from him because he really enjoyed his work. The next opera that Puccini did, Giulio Ricordi actually commissioned, Edgar. Now, Edgar did not do very well when it premiered in 1889, and it actually almost cost Puccini his career. The only reason it did not was um, because of Ricordi's backing. Ricordi actually came out and said that it was not Puccini's fault that the opera was so bad. It was the guy who wrote the libretto. Ricordi commissioned a third opera from him and that was Manon Lescaut and that premiered in 1893 and was a success. La Boheme then premiered in 1896. Tosca then premiered in 1900 and that was really kind of his first foray into the Verismo style. On February 15th, 1903, Puccini was in a car crash where he was pinned under the car and it took quite a while to heal. So he was out of commission for quite a bit there. Then on February 17th, 1904, Madame Butterfly premiered at La Scala but this premiere was actually pretty disastrous. And we all know Madame Butterfly, it's one of today's favorites. People love to go see it. Um, but when it first came out, it did not do well at all. Um, Puccini then revised it another five times. And the fifth revision of it is actually what is mostly performed nowadays. Every once in a while, someone will do the first version, but most of the time it's that fifth revision. In 1910, the Met Opera actually commissioned La Fanchula del West. It was actually the first opera ever performed at the Met in New York. And then in 1917, La Rondine followed it. In 1918, Il Tritico premiered. Now, Il Tritico is actually three one acts. And they back then, they actually performed all three of them together. Nowadays, it's only usually two of them, but it's uh, Il Tabaro, Sor Angelica, and Gianni Schicchi. Most of the time nowadays, it's usually Sor Angelica and Gianni Schicchi that get performed together. And then Turandot was Puccini's final opera. He actually died before it was uh, finished. He, the last two scenes were actually completed by Franco Alfano, and they were based on uh, Puccini's sketches. In 1923, he actually began suffering from chronic sore throats and was diagnosed with throat cancer. This is because he was a lifelong smoker. So this is the result of that. Um, his doctors recommended an experimental radiation treatment that was offered in Brussels at the time. And then he died on November 29th, 1924 at 65 because of complications due to the treatment. He had uncontrolled bleeding and that led to a heart attack. News of his death actually re reached Rome during a performance of La Boheme. The cast then stopped performing and the orchestra began to perform Chopin's funeral march in honor of Puccini. It was a real big shock to the opera world when Puccini had died. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and all these little tidbits on Puccini. Um, we will continue to do these opera composers. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe.